Viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. We're out in the city of Boynton Beach, also known as Paradise. Been here a little bit over four years. It's a nice, quiet city. Every once in a while, we get our little string of violent crimes. There's a good amount of street-level drug trafficking going on, um, just like any other small city. We're going to try and catch up to this vehicle. Just ran the stop sign. Uh, he's been circling the area suspiciously. These residential back roads are really commonplace for street-level drug trafficking. They like to stay off the main roads and avoid police. Bro, if I want blackmail, Northwest 4th Street, 11 block. Northbound, wearing a black tank top, black shorts. I just heard a door open and close in one of these backyards. Let me see your hands! Get your hands up! Let me see them! Get on the ground. Get on the ground! Don't you move. You understand me? Northbound. Unit on 4th Street. Back up. I got them detained. Just don't move. Put your hands behind your back. Bravo Yeah, I'm in a backyard dispatch. I'm trying to get that for you. Stand by. Turn over on your back. Sit up. Get up, ready? One, two, three. Come here. Is there anything back there that you needed? Have a seat right here. Hmm? Have a seat. Right in front of 611. What are you running for, boss? Northwest. Nothing? What are you talking about, man? You weren't running? Right, you just, huh? You don't know what I'm talking about? Stand up for me. Just a simple traffic stop, Bo. Yeah. Just jumped out of a car. Where's your car at? Oh, uh, should be right in front of mine. In the driveway. Charlie's with it, man. All right. Do you want to tell me why you ran? You have a warrant, something silly? Suspend a license? I just seen y'all. Adrian? Yeah. There's no lying about it. You if it was over something in, silly. You run the name in, man. I don't even talk about it. All right. All right. Who's got a cage around here? Okay. Just put him in the car, uh, please. Two, I'm going to go look nine. for where he stopped. Tango Lima Lima. He was behind this uh, house back here. Everything. We are 10-4, thank you. Thank you, sir. Tango 33. Just be advised, play view on the passenger front seat. Large amount of marijuana. Okay, that's right. Perfect. That is why. Uh, there's supposedly a large amount of marijuana inside of the vehicle. He's stating he has no idea what we're talking about. Doesn't want to explain why he was hiding behind this house or why I'm 100% positive that that's who I was chasing. Hey, Mike. He's suspended. All right. Let's go back to the car and see if we can find this large amount of marijuana. Where's the uh, weed at? It's a big bag and then you got to put it in the bag. 
It's a plane blue sitting on the front. Oh, on the passenger seat right here. Nice. Uh, decent yeah. amount of marijuana. It's individually packaged, apparently for sale. And then a uh, much larger bag. It's probably at least 20 grams. Not bad. Was, Explains why you're in. He made it more than obvious that he did not want me behind his vehicle. Are you at okay, it's his mom's car. And what he said to me was this. That he'll give you a full statement of why he was driving the car, why he ran, all his weed, as long as you don't forfeit his mom's car. Ten minutes ago, he didn't even want to say he was even driving the car. This is the marijuana that was located inside the vehicle. You see a fairly large stash here. But uh, what's going to get him is the individually packaged Looks like little dime bags, nick bags. Got a total. Looks like... About 15 individually packaged. Uh, the problem with them being individually packaged for resale is that it's going to be a felony charge, which would obviously give us rights for uh, seizing the car. That would explain his reason for running. Originally, you were trying to tell me that wasn't you driving that I saw get out of the driver's side of the car. Run. Yeah, that's my mama car, man. All right, so you were driving your mom's car. Can you run me through it? Because I'm going to want, I got to be the one to tell the story here. And I certainly don't want to put anything against you, you don't deserve. Yeah, you see me at the stop sign. I made a left. You made a U turn. I pulled up. I got out. That's when you cut on the lights. I went around the car. So why were you trying to avoid me? I mean, you were sitting well, in the middle of this. I, I pulled in before you even cut off the lights. Is there any reason why you were trying to avoid me? I mean, would that large amount of weed on the front seat have anything to do with it? No, I smoke weed, man. You smoke weed? All right. What about the little baggies you got packaged in there? What's that I about? I smoke weed, man. You got the felony charges on you already. If there's something that you want to do about that, you have to give us something. It's an exchange system. I did wrong, bro. Nobody else ain't do wrong, bro. Why tell them somebody else, bro? They ain't do wrong, bro. I did wrong, bro. You know what I'm saying? All right, Adrian. Being a police officer is something I've always wanted to do since I was a kid. Been working here for about a little over three years now. Love Boynton, love coming to work. People say that all the time, but I truly do like this place. It's definitely a melting pot of cultures and people here, and uh, it makes for uh, an interesting day and or night at any given time. We're on our way to an animal complaint call. Seems that there's a uh, huge python in someone's house. Approximately 12 feet long. So we're, uh, we're gonna go over there and check that out and see what we got. They're like, shh, shh, shh. Let's do it for one night, so. You want to see it? I don't know. What, what are we? What are we looking at? Python. Python. I think. Is it yours? No. Oh, it's outside. Yeah, it's outside. It's um. Uh, well, you can see the the body is is behind here. I don't know. If behind. Yeah, I see it. You see it? Yeah, it's going this way. Yeah, it's going that way. Do you know whose snake it is? No. no. See, Probably is about 12 feet. It looks like. Do you guys have a garbage bag, like a like a big black garbage bag or something like that, or an old pillowcase? Fish and wildlife are on their way. They are? Yeah. When, when did you guys call them? They, they'll be here in like 20 minutes. Oh, okay, then we'll just wait for them. Yeah. Yeah, we can put it in a bag if you guys got one. Is that a python, though? Yeah, it looks like a boa. Here's his head right here. He looks domesticated. Why don't you just grab it, go in there and get him? Yeah, how long is he? His tail is right. Yeah, he's huge. Kimball, you want to bag him? Yeah. You want to open the bag and I'll, I'll grab them or what? Uh -oh. right. Well, I'll bet. Whatever you want to do. Let me pull them out. All right, he's starting up. Hey, pull them back. That's All right, keep the light on. He's right here. Good. Don't strike it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Watch, watch. There's nothing. He's going out. <laughs> he's right there. <laughs> watch. Someone get the bag. Ooh. 
Perfect, perfect. Oh, you had him. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where his head's at, but what I want to do is I want to slide him from the bag into the pillowcase. So I don't want him to suffocate, but I don't know where his head's at. That's the, that's the only tough part here. This pillowcase really isn't big enough. You can get some air out of that plastic. Bag. Where's his head at? There's his head right there. His head's right there. Hold on. Just get underneath there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Get him. All right, pull the bag. Pull the garbage bag. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's the top. Oh, there's his head, there's his head. All right. Here, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let's go. It's somebody's pet, probably uh, got too big and didn't want to feed him any more rabbits or couldn't bear the sight of seeing that, so they just let him go. Yeah, very, uh, very common household pet, but then, like the iguanas, people got tired of keeping them around the house and uh, ended up just letting them go in people's backyards. And in the tropical climate of Florida, they take over and... Reproduce. And, uh, so, so how did you guys find that uh, thing sitting in the bushes? Driving back from the game, uh huh, and it was actually laying in the street. Oh, it was in the street. I couldn't see the head. Uh huh. And I thought it was like a palm frond or something because it looked like, you know, the pointy thing. Right, right. That it started to move. So how do you feel now that he's bagged in a little? I wonder where the mother is. Okay, the mother. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, they usually don't travel in packs. I don't think. I hope not. It's just scary. <laughs> it's scary. The first one you've seen like that. Yeah. In the neighborhood yeah, or anywhere else? Like in the wild, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We, uh, they're probably king snakes, but. Yeah, we'll grass, yeah. Those, yeah, they're always in the grass doing something. What's up, boss? What's up? The head's down here. Huh? The head's down here in the front. Oh, no, man, is he fat. Yeah, he's a fat, yeah, he's a fat one. Longer than eight feet, huh? Oh, yeah. He's like 12 feet. He's like 12, yeah. 12 feet. There it is. He's not gonna hurt you. <laughs> huh? It's somebody's pet. It's <laughs> somebody's pet, yeah. He's not our pet. <laughs> Keep wording her somebody. Uh, he ain't mine. Hold on. Hurt him. Okay, I got the I got the back of the cage. Tilt it down just a little bit. Tilt it down. There Smell that cat. Oh, there's a. Oh, there's a. You guys getting a lot of these calls lately or no? But uh, what we'll do is we'll take this one back to uh, one of the pet shops and let them scan them to find out because they're required to have pet tags in. Mm-hmm. It doesn't look like he's a very aggressive, so it must be somebody's pet. Yeah. Alright, guys. Thanks, boss. As you said, they're getting more and more calls every day on them. This won't be the last we see of a boa in the uh, local neighborhoods. I like this job a lot. You get to take a guy off the street for a murder warrant or, you know, a sexual assault warrant or something like that. Or being out here on the street, it's, this is where it starts. This is where a lot of detective work stems from. Is, uh, we're the first ones there. Uh, your homicide units and stuff like that, not taking anything from them, but, you know, uh, when we get out there, it had just happened, so. Ah, he ran that stop sign. So we're gonna see what their deal is. This vehicle stopped a stop, ran a stop sign. We're gonna stop him and see what the deal is with him. What's going on, fellas? Reason to stop you? You didn't. Uh, you didn't stop at that stop sign back there. I didn't. You just rolled right through it. You got a driver's license and insurance on you? 
I got my, uh, I ain't got a driver's license, sir. Why are you driving? I went to go get my driver's license, sir, and they told me I, I can't do it. Why? Because I have a warrant. But for what? The, the, the warrant's out of Florida. For what? I went to go. What's the warrant for? It's for uh, Grand Theft Auto out of Florida. Mm -hmm. Is it open right now? Yes, sir, but they won't. I went to the DMV, and they put me in handcuffs, but they wouldn't take me to jail for it. Okay. Why? They didn't confirm your warrant or what? They said that uh, they won't extradite me out of there. Okay. Go ahead and hop on out for me. Chance appear on that car. Maybe left hand. Maybe other one. Come on over here. Lean up against this car right here. Lean up against the car. Go ahead and hop on out, bro. Walk back over here. Get up there next to you, buddy. <clears throat> Walk backwards. Keep your hands on the car. Do you have ID on you? No, sir. Excuse me? No, sir. Why not? Uh, I left it at my mom's. Don't come off of that car for no reason at all. You come off again, I'm going to put you on the floor. You understand? Yes, sir. You may have that left hand. Maybe the other one. Come on back over here. You have problems walking or something? No, these, these cuffs are tight. Come on back over here. Kick your sandal off, bro. Mm -hmm. Kick your sandals off. Kick the other one off. Lift up the bottom of your feet. Let me see your feet. The other one. Okay. That's why. Good move, bud. Go ahead and slide your sandals back on, bud. You come off that car, I'm going to tase you. You understand? You understand me? I said don't come off of that car. You understand? Come on back over here. Hop in and have a seat. He was holding that. That's why he was walking funny. Anything in that car you might want to tell me about? Nothing I know of, sir. Not that you know of? That there shouldn't be nothing in that car, sir. Shouldn't be? There isn't nothing in that car, sir. I'll rephrase okay. it. Okay. Your Not buddy's your buddy's pills. Oh. Didn't think I was gonna find them. Come on, walk around this way. Walk around this way. The passenger, I get the passenger out and he's walking funny. He stuffed some pills in his sandal trying to hide them from me. I hadn't, I hadn't uh, gone in the car yet. Hey, Bo, I have some bad news for you, Chief. I found the rest of your pills. He had these in his, the driver's side on the seat. Looks like he tried to stuff them in between the seats when we turned around on him. He's got, he had these so on his side. Hide your codones? Yeah, these are yeah. codones. So, so I'm gonna call poison control and verify both of them. Just to check this thing out. Double check the number. Yeah, hey, could you run through it for me? I, I, I don't know if he stuffed anything else, but let me call and get the initial charge. If we're going to jail, then my real name's Robbie. <laughs> so, you don't know your real So you lied to me about your name the first time? I got traffic warrants. I was going to take care of my warrants this coming up weekend because because I'm on probation. He's gonna take care of his warrants this weekend. 
I'm gonna get him out, Brian. Okay. We'll put him over there in your car. Yeah. My guy, the one I had has an ID. Okay. Go ahead and hop out. Okay, 24 records. What uh, move up and check. Turns out this guy's having an identity crisis, and it's because he's got warrants, which makes him fail to ID fugitive, which is another charge. Go ahead and slide on. Slide over. At the Beltway, he said he's got a Houston, Texas sticker on the back. Hey, I don't know if uh, if they've explained to you what's going on. Have they told you what's going on? No? Okay. Both of you are under arrest for uh, possession of a dangerous drug. Was that a felony? They'll explain it to you when you see a judge later on. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Coverage code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get a 251410 transmit on tech 2. One man, two lives. The perfect con. Lone Star. Fox Premier Week begins September 20th.